do. Would you um, mind telling the viewers who you are and what you do for the Office for National Statistics? Yes, I am a community advisor for the census and I work specifically with the Israeli communities in London to raise awareness about the census. Okay, and why should members of the Somali community take part in the census? Because it, it, um, it's very important that the local um, uh, government, local authorities know the numbers and the needs of the Somali communities in that locality so that services and, uh, could be planned according to the need of those populations um, uh, as, part of, as part of the wider um, um, community. Okay, and so it helps with things like hospitals, roads, for example? Absolutely. All the services that are provided locally, the schools, the, the transport, transport um, hospitals, all the services, of, even the fire brigade and the police, um, um, are planned according to how many people live in that locality and the local governments get um, 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 support from central government um, to provide services for that number of people. So if there is an undercount, it affects the, the, uh, the provision of the service. And especially our communities have uh, more needs sometimes, maybe support in schools for example so it's quite important okay all right thank you and how and when will people uh, receive their census forms um, from the 7th of March um, they will receive every household will receive one to the uh, by post and uh, they will need to fill that and send it with the standard test that that's, uh, that, uh, that's uh, comes with, with the questionnaire mm -hmm. and also be can do it online okay and who needs to fill in the census Everybody has to fill the census, even the Queen has to fill the census. Okay, and um, what happens to the information that's collected from the census? Um, the information that's collected from the census is used to, to plan services that we've mentioned earlier. Um, it's very important that the local authorities know the numbers and the needs so that it could actually plan how many school places, for example, children would need in, in the next um, 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 10 years. 10 years, 5 years, 10 years, um, you know, in terms of the uh, number of older people, you know, the kind of hospital uh, provision, and just, and, and so on. So all the services that um, are provided locally needs to have a long-term plan, and in order to have that plan, you need to have an idea of the size and needs of the population in that particular area. Okay, alright, and um, what actually happens to the information once you've filled in your census form? The information is, uh, is, is goes to the Office of National Statistics and it's, co it's completely confidential. Um, um, it is your, you know, it, it's very important for people, for, for, for people to understand that this is completely uh, secure for 100 years. And uh, the information is collected, is, is translated into um, sort of a, a household need or the number of people who live in that street rather than an individual name. And that information then is, is, is used to, to allocate a particular, you know, the amount of funds that that particular local authority needs to provide services for their population. Okay, and is the data, you mentioned that the data is safe, yes. is it shared with other government agencies? Absolutely not, this is a very important point, it's not shared with any other government agency or any other office. This is uh, secure and confidential for 100 years. Okay. And what happens if people are actually finding it difficult to fill in their census questionnaire? Where can they go, for example, to get some help? There are help points across um, on, on each area in the country. Uh, we can go to the libraries or to um, community organisations who speak that particular sort of thing. And citizen advice bureaus and places like that. Okay. And what happens if people don't fill in their census? Um, they will, it affects this local service provision and it's, you know, it's, 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 um, it, it has an impact on, 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 on their own sort of, uh, the kind of service that they, they receive in their own area. But I think, uh, as a last resort, also I need to mention that there is a pattern of 1,000 Thank you very much.